my career was totally different. I, I worked on a computer for a big company, you know, um, and I was a very different man wearing a big suit and tie, you know, and, um, <laughs> and I, it was not right for me. I, I, I realized I needed to change my life. Eventually, I, I did, was doing that work farther, further and further away with a computer. And then I got to America and COVID lockdowns. <laughs> so they, all the flights, I caught the last plane into, into Houston. And so I, w I said, where will I go? You know, they said, well, you can't stay here. This is the USA. So I, I caught the next plane to Dallas and then to Querétaro, to Mexico, uh, where I started living there, waiting. And I was waiting one year, still nada, no flying to Australia, nada. And then I went, okay, I'm flying to Viata. Viata, nada, still nada, cannot fly to Australia. Uh, and that's when I started to live on the boat. And um, when I first bought the boat, it was coming into summer and uh, hurricane season. And so um, I had to stay there and wait um, to even sail to across the Sea of Cortez to La Paz to, for the first trial, the sea trial. Um, so that's the first time myself and the boat had sailed over a sea. So that was the first year of of testing and um, buying all the things I need and on Banderas Bay seeing if the boat would work okay mm -hmm. and um, then the second year was in La Paz and that's the year we were really saying okay I've sailed the Sea of Cortez it took one week mm -hmm. uh, what how would we do the Pacific I left late from La Paz like I should have left in March, April to have enough time to get around before it gets warmer and the hurricane builds. Mm -hmm. um, I left May, you know, the end of April and uh, I, I was really rounding Cabo around May and so it was getting warmer, not where, we, where I am, mm -hmm. but it was getting warmer further south and eventually one came up over the top behind me over the top so I was f far enough south but it was moving west and it, and it came eventually over the and was drawing me in so I, I was the it was drawing me in I, I was drifting so when the storm comes really your options are very minimal like you are not fighting the storm you're dropping all the sails um, you, you basically uh, have to have to really bring everything in and and survive. Mm -hmm. um, there's no way you can stay up on the boat trying to do much. You know, you're, you're a survival. Uh, water, I needed to make water with a water maker, mm -hmm. and also catch water with the rain and food. I must I must carry more food, but also catch catch the fish i carry you know in the can canned tuna canned sardine i store them up and um and so i fish as well when no fish one day um eat some something from the can you know and then you know how much can cans you have left i i used to i have a a, a line which just wraps around a coil like this and I put, it, I put it down into the water um, and it, it trails along behind the, behind the boat. Mm -hmm. And um, I was catching shark with this line. Uh, and so it was shark sushi, you know. The other way I did it was I would stop the boat. Mm -hmm. I would dive down underneath the boat mm -hmm. with a spear gun. And the spear gun, I would wait for um, the fish would come. I'd be holding my breath and wait. I'd look around, I wait, I wait, holding my breath, and then fish just come like this. 
and then, okay, it's like supermarket, <laughs> straight back out. <laughs> That's my shopping for fish for today. <laughs> and back on the boat. So it, it, it was never very complicated, just busy sometimes because there's just me and my two hands. Mm -hmm. So I'd be trying to fix so many things and making, deciding what to fix next. And, uh, but still you can go slow, you know. The trade winds go west and once, you, once you're on those trade winds, the current of the water and all the wind is all moving from the east in the Americas all the way west over to Asia and Australia. So once you're on, on those winds, it's one way. You can only travel that way. Um, you cannot get off that train. So when Andreas found me, um, I was drifting and the hurricane was coming. Uh, it was like I was guided, it was the, their timing was so perfect mm -hmm. that I think this is a gift. It has to be, they have to be, for them to find me where I was and to be there right when I needed to make that decision, mm -hmm. I knew the decision had already been made for me. This is what happens to you when you just find yourself. Um, and it doesn't have to be a challenge at sea. It can just be yourself in wherever you are in your life. You, you can find yourself there. And um, we're in that time now where we all are challenged to find something unique inside of ourselves that the, the thing that really makes us come alive and and love one another uh, now is the time <laughs>